the Thailand Pass. Now I will quickly take you through what this application looks like. You have my handy dandy laptop here, my, my sweet sweet baby. So this is the website that you will need to go to. It is tp.consular.go.th. Let's switch to the screen recording. Hey guys, voice over jot here. This is the Thailand Pass website. So just make sure that your English translation is turned on. Google Chrome has this capability. And the first page that you will see is actually a pop-up window, which just says that the average uh, processing time for the Thailand Pass is three to seven days. And they do recommend that you apply at least seven days prior to departure. Also, they do outline all the documents that you will be needing. But if you have collected all of your documents from the previous slide that I showed you with the elevator music, you should be good to go. So let's start. The next thing you will see is another pop-up window and this is a slide specifically for test and go because they just resumed this program they wanted to make sure that everyone is on the same page and so this is a cheat sheet of all the requirements and the steps that you will need if you are entering under this scheme this next page is where you will be selecting which scheme you will be entering on. So there's test and go, there's the sandbox program, and there's the AQ program. I did click on all three guys just so I could give you a clearer picture of what to expect and happy to report that all three are very similar in terms of the question field. So for today's demonstration purpose, I will go through the test and go program and just expect very similar questions for the sandbox and the AQ. I've gone ahead and selected the test and go program and the first page will be be a compliance consent page where you just have to agree to it and then click confirm right after that you should be seeing a purpose of arrival page and I'm gonna go through what it looks like so the purpose of your travel where you're coming from which airport you are arriving at and your flight number your date of arrival and then your estimated departure from Thailand and then click register Next, we have the personal information page where obviously you will put all of your personal information. And the thing to note here is the uploading of the passport bio photo. So you'll pick an ordinary passport if you have an ordinary passport, unless you're a diplomat where you have an official one, obviously. So uh, the files for upload must not be bigger than 5 MB. So a screenshot will do or a phone photo will do. Just make sure that it's not the live one because that actually takes a lot of space and it's a bigger file. Also a tip for when taking a photo for your passport, just take a photo of the bio page and not the entire like full spread of it. And to avoid glare, make sure you tape the bottom to the table so there's no reflection from any direct or indirect light. We click next and we are brought here to the vaccination page and you can tick this box if you have recovered from COVID-19 infection within the past year. And then you have to input the information for your first and second dose of the vaccine i.e. the name of the vaccine that you have received, the date, and then upload a picture of the vaccination card. Again, same rules apply. It cannot be bigger than 5 MB, you know the drill. And then at the bottom, you just have a consent form saying that they are gathering information for purposes of the Thailand Pass. And then we hit next. Woohoo! We are one step closer, guys. This is now the accommodation and contact page. So you can see they have repeated the information. They just want to make sure that you have booked the right type for the specific scheme that you are applying for. For example, for test and go, it needs to be an AQ and SHA extra plus. If you want to triple check that the booked hotel is the right one, you can click on these links down below and you can peruse this information, type in the name of your hotel, and you can be rest assured that it is a government approved facility. All right, we are back on the accommodation page. So we are filling in the information for day one booking. First, you will fill out which accommodation type you have booked and I picked SHA plus and then the province where you booked it at. Um, picking Bangkok. So accommodation name 56 hotel. This is the actual hotel where we stayed at. Very nice hotel guys. I'll put the link down below if you want to stay in the same one. So you can see they auto filled the address for us and also Input your booking number and then the check-in date and check-out date. Next, we input the prepaid RT-PCR receipt number, if any, and also upload a picture of the receipt. Next up, we fill out our day five booking information. So they do give you three options if it's the same booking as day one, meaning it's a consecutive stay from day one to five. Option two, if it is a different booking from day one, including if you book the same hotel but different check-in and check-out dates. 
booked. So if you book day one, went somewhere else and then book day five, so you'll have to input the information again. Or if your stay in Thailand is shorter than five days. I just wanted to show you what that looks like if we pick the second option, which is booking two different hotels. So you're going to basically fill out the same exact information as you did in the day one. As you can see, it's the same exact question field. So I will spare everyone. And because I value your time, let's move on. Further down below, they will be asking you your permanent address outside of Thailand, your overseas mobile number, emergency contact details, and so on and so forth. And then we hit next. Next. Awesome sauce, we have reached the last page. This is the medical insurance and additional documents page. Again, they remind you that you must read the terms and conditions of your insurance policy, just making sure that you are covered for treatment and any other COVID related expenses, such as hotel quarantine, community isolation, a hospital stay, or a hospital stay. Also, make sure that your coverage is at least $50,000 before purchasing. And lastly, they do recommend that you are covered an additional 10 days after your intended departure from Thailand just in case you test positive right as you are about to leave. Input your insurance policy right here and then confirm that it is the minimum amount and that it covers the total duration of your stay in Thailand, your effective date, and you upload your insurance card and all that good stuff. On the bottom, you will have to tick a certification that the amount is for at least $50,000. We are at the home stretch guys so in the bottom part of the page, they will ask you what other countries you have visited within 14 days of arrival and upload any additional documents. For example, the receipt for the prepayment of the two RT-PCR tests for day one and day five, any medical certificate if you have recovered from COVID-19 within the past year, any name change if in case the name on your passport is different from the name on your ticket, so on and so forth. So basically, any other documents that you think that they might need that they didn't ask for, upload it here. Yay! the moment we've all been waiting for clicking that submit button so now we are done with the paperwork yeah! to see you guys for getting this far a few points of course this is not complete with a few points i suggest you do the application no later than seven days before your departure they do process applications in order of pending arrival i.e if john person a is arriving a month from now versus karen person b who is arriving a week later, even though they submitted at the same exact millisecond, Karen's paperwork will probably get processed first. If you have submitted your application and have not heard from them in a while, there is a helpline that you could call. They are open 24 seven. You can find this information on the first page of the Thailand Pass under contact us. And there you will find the 24 hour hotline numbers as well as the email that you can send your queries to. If you have an urgent matter and you need to contact them, they also provide an avenue for that. And this is the email. Now, there will be long wait times, especially with the resumption of test and go program. There will probably be tens of thousands that will be flocking to the website. Will it crash? Will the helpline be super busy? Yes, but know that you'll always get through. Even if sometimes it could be hours, just try again. Remember that they are receiving thousands of inquiries, or as Emma Thompson would say, inquiries. Please be patient and just pass the time or working out or reading a book or binging singles inferno. In our case, our application was approved the same day. We were so surprised, but this is the reason why you should be quadruple checking all the information before you hit that submit button so you don't give them a reason to reject your application. Make sure the photos are clear with very minimal reflection. This is a last minute addition, guys. I have been reading the forums and it seems like a lot of people have been rejected because of their hotel confirmation. Basically what happens is the people that process the Thailand Pass We'll contact your hotel within 72 hours to confirm that you did indeed book with them. To make sure that your hotel is on top of this, I highly suggest that you contact them either via messaging through agoda.com or actually emailing through the official hotel email. Or if you could call them, please do that and give them a heads up and say, hey, I just submitted for my Thailand pass. Can you please answer the phone when they try and confirm my booking so I can expedite the process? Print all the documents that you have. Passport, bookings, like hotel, vaccination card, visa, if you have a transit visa, Thailand pass, QR code, VV important. This is what we have like been working towards. And of course your negative PCR results. And I will show you the mounds and mounds of paperwork 
that we took with us. This this is the actual paperwork that we took with us. Place in plastic sheets or this one, which is an envelope so you can clearly see what is inside. Pack multiple pens, guys. Dongle it anywhere, whatever, in your backpack, in your fanny pack, because you will need pens in every point of the journey.